Welcome to our second lesson on expenditure and revenue budgets. Here we'll learn about several additional types of budget, as well as the impact of variances. Let's dive in. Let's start with the overheads budget. An overheads budget shows all the expected indirect costs a company will have related to its services or products. As this is concerned with indirect costs, it therefore won't include any direct labor or material costs. Here's what you'll find in an overheads budget. Budgeted labor hours, the time needed for production. Variable overhead rate, the cost per hour of variable overheads. Variable overheads, this is calculated by multiplying the budgeted labor hours by the variable overhead rate. Fixed overheads, the total cost of the fixed overheads. And total manufacturing overhead, this is calculated by adding the variable overheads to the fixed overheads. A marketing budget lays out the expected costs to promote your business and increase revenue. The budget can include all sorts of costs like PR, staffing, office expenses, social media campaigns, and even software tools. Essentially, it tells you how much you're investing in your brand's growth for a specific time, be it a month or a quarter. Key elements here are individual marketing costs and the overall total. The capital expenditure budget is your game plan for big long-term investments like machinery, software, or real estate. Companies use this to stay competitive and grow. Key elements here are individual expenditure costs and the overall total. The final budget we'll look at is the cash budget. This helps us to manage cash flow, the actual money going in and out of our business, so that we don't run out of it, and can put actions in place if we're going to. The cash budget can typically include information like Opening balance, the amount of cash currently held by the enterprise at the start of the period. Receipts, a list of all revenues budgeted to be obtained by the enterprise. Receipts subtotal. This is calculated by adding the opening balance to the receipts. Payments. A list of all expenditures budgeted to be spent by the enterprise. Payments subtotal. This is calculated by adding all budgeted payments. And closing balance. This is calculated by subtracting the payments subtotal from the receipts subtotal. So, you've planned your budgets, but what happens when things go off track? Where our actual figures don't match our budget, we call this a variance, and these can be deemed either favorable or adverse. A favorable variance means we've spent less or earned more than expected. This is, of course, good for a business as it means they have made more significant profits than expected. An adverse or unfavorable variance means that the company spent more than planned or had less income than expected. This can have a considerable impact on a business as adverse variances negatively affect profits. We may therefore need to put in corrective measures in response. In conclusion, a business's overheads budget will show all of the costs that the company expects to incur in relation to the company's services or products, excluding direct labor and materials. A marketing budget identifies all the costs involved with the business's marketing and promotion efforts. A capital expenditure budget is a tool used by companies to plan and calculate how much the business will pay out in capital expenses for a specific accounting period. Businesses use cash budgets to help them manage cash flow. A favorable variance is where a company spent less than expected or earned more than expected during the accounting period. And an adverse or unfavorable variance means that the company spent more than planned or had less income than expected.